Hey, I'm Jordan Rouse from Set to Close. Today, we're going to be talking about cold calling and outbound email. And are these dead? First being cold calling. Well, cold calling has got a lot more complex. It's no longer you pick up a phone book and you're rallying through numbers like in the, the 80s and 90s and things like that, or you see in these movies like Pursuit of Happiness. Now we do something called an SDR approach, a sales development rep approach. And what that is, it has stanchions which touch cold calling, but they have ones that touch LinkedIn prospecting. And they also hit up maybe texting. Some people have outbound email in combination. These systems are no longer siloed. So when we're evolving on a, a cold calling program, there's some pillars that need to be involved, which make it successful. First, you gotta have a great CRM. So once you've selected a great CRM, you have to integrate technologies that make sense. So in for cold calling, there's auto dialers and predictive dialers. So what are they? Well, auto dialing, plug in the list, press play. It has, um, voicemails you can leave called voicemail drops and has all these fancy technologies to make it go quickly for you. Predictive dialing is calling multiple numbers at the same time and getting people live on the phone. And there's AIs that can listen and hook you up with it. There's different companies that have people listening and hook other people into calls. There's all sorts of technologies that complement it nowadays. But where most programs go off the rails with cold calling, two, two main portions. Why does it not work? Number one, they don't have the right system. They're making all these calls, but they don't have good follow-up. Follow-up comes in terms of sequences. Sequences are the actions we take after we have that call. So to have a good call with what persona, this message goes out um, on what topic, what value add. So it's split into persona, value add, and is it good, neutral, not good for your calls that when you're getting live people on the phones. So the first is, do I have the sequences set up to be able to support my sales staff based on their conversations and who they're talking to. The second portion of this is, is my targeting correct? So often people are calling lists that are out of date, not right data, doesn't show any intent. You have to spend time as a sales leader making sure that you're hunting the right people, they have the right numbers, and there's the right intent in the market. So a lot of people are selling intent data systems, Zoom Info, XYZ. I think these are quintessential to a modern sales team being successful. Now, the symphony of how all this works together is there's no longer just cold calling. People burn out, especially in this generation, Gen Zs, Millennials, even Gen Xs, cold calls aren't their favorite. Where the baby boomers before, they could call all day, every day, um, and kudos to them, but the world has changed and, and how we uh, disseminate information has also changed. So typical sales development reps are spending about five hours a day calling, spending about three hours a day in LinkedIn and follow-ups. So within that, they're messaging their key target markets through Sales Navigator, who they're going after, what we call an account-based approach. And that has come up with between the combinations of sales and marketing, what we call marketing in-house. To make sure that cold calling and outbound email aren't dead for you, you have to make sure you're digging into the nuance of how they work together. Marketing becomes highly reactive in a great department when they're getting the frontline data for what are the customers actually saying on the phone? What are their needs set? Why are the need sets like that? That allows them to react over here in marketing and produce higher quality leads on the other side. Because the ultimate goal isn't just to be outbound, it's to be inbound as well at the same time. Giving you robust lead channels is the ultimate goal, lowering that cost for acquisition. Now, let's talk about the nature of all this. Outbound email, is it dead? The answer is no, absolutely not. Number one thing I wanna tell you though, follow the laws. If you're in Europe, especially, follow the rules. You don't wanna get knocked off, you don't want big fights, number one. Number two, when you're building your list, be concise, be contrite, and use humor. Too many people are just like, this is my value proposition, or this, these are the services I offer, it's even worse. These are the services I offer. And they're like, why is open email not working for me? It's dead. No, it's just you're awful. You're awful at it. And you got to admit as a leader, hey, I'm awful at it. Other people are crushing it. Why? Because you haven't taken the time to understand your market and have an agile department where marketing's meeting with sales, combining these mess messages and using personality to move people along. You have to be able to interrupt their day in a positive fashion to gain a meeting with them. These are so, so important. These are the biggest steps you can do. So is cold calling dead? No. Is outbound email dead? Absolutely not. But it requires you as the leader, as the VP, the entrepreneur, the manager to build a great system. 
Without a great system and the right technologies, you will be left behind in today's marketplace. Today's marketplace is going faster than it ever has with the advent of AI. So you can choose to ride the wave to success or you can choose to fall off and get eaten by a great white shark. And that's the other competitors in the market right now. And they are going fast. Set to Close was built to fill those gaps and take someone who wants to ride the wave, put them on it, put you on the right surfboard and you're on your way. And then let momentum carry you forward. If you need help with it, hey, we're here. You can check out our blogs on LinkedIn. Go ahead and subscribe to that newsletter that's there. The link will be below this. And I look forward to having a conversation with you in the future. My name is Jordan Rouse, CEO of Set to Close. Thanks for joining us.